The winner of the super fight between the cat, Alexander Usyk, and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, is being revealed by a big man. Former British champion David Price has claimed how the match will play out. So are these statements factual or not? Who's the real winner in this match of the century? Let's see the video, but before you jump in, remember, like, subscribe, tap that bell, just like that. You don't want to miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. The confrontation between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk is gradually coming to an end. Tyson Fury and Usyk are closing in on a deal to fight for the undisputed heavyweight crown. The pair of unbeaten champions are ready to put up all four world titles. Usyk's manager, Aegis Klimas, confirmed an agreement is nearing the finish line but warned the unification bout is heading for the Middle East. Fury's promoter, Bob Arum, has now echoed those words, confirming the fight has been agreed upon. Arum has also shed some light on the potential location, revealing London is still on the table despite the financial lure of the Middle East. This is considered a match of the century, having an essential meaning in deciding who will dominate heavyweight boxing. And not only that, it will affect the ranking order of other boxers. With so much charisma, a lot of predictions were made about the match as well as the winner. And David Price is no exception. David Price, a former British professional boxer who competed from 2009 to 2019. At the regional level, he held multiple heavyweight championships, including the British and Commonwealth titles in 2012 to 2013. He was challenged once for the European title in 2015. He's now officially retired and focuses on boxing research and analysis. Price's prediction follows many others in sports who have Fury as the favorite to become the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis. David Price expressed his opinion and clearly designated the winner. The former British champ believes the man from Morakambe is too big and too experienced for the Ukrainian, who was fighting a weight below not long ago. What Tyson Fury does better than anyone is uses that big size to his advantage. That's one of his biggest strengths. Let's look at him against Derek Chisora. He towered over Del Boy. In addition, the former boxer also took the rematch between Big Joshua and Usyk as an example to prove that Fury's size is too much compared to the Ukrainian boxer. He explained, when Joshua put Usyk on the back foot and tried to use his size instead of standing and trying to be a bit of a chess match, he drained Usyk. Apparently, Usyk was overwhelmed by the massive Joshua at some point during the match. Joshua looked to be on the verge of closing the show in the ninth round. The former two-time three-belt heavyweight champion had Usyk on the ropes and nearly out on his feet, and one power shot upstairs after another. The belt seemed to be on the verge of heading back to the UK. Perhaps it was the result of Anthony's process of trying and changing, but it's really not enough to win back the championship title. Not only that, Price then went on to predict the exact method of victory for Fury. David said that Fury is an expert at being the big man. Fury will lean all over Usyk and fight, and he'll probably win a bit of a scruffy fight. He thinks it'll be Fury winning on points.
So in fact, what advantage is the body giving the Gypsy King? Fury's biggest advantage is that sheer size, weight plus height, and reach, coupled with courage, boxing fundamentals, and great ring IQ. He not only can box, but also adapt to do whatever it takes to win. He's a first-rate, fundamental boxer, and though he lacks traditional athleticism, speed, and strength, I mean the speed of his foot movement around the ring, his hand speed's very good because Fury's upper body's very flexible. He's a giant. He knows how to use that size very well. Fury, six foot nine, an 85 inch reach, weighing about 277 at his last fight. When you look at Usyk, he's down at six three and a 78 inch reach. So with that advantage, Fury can use size and weight to substitute for traditional strength. During the fight with Usyk, Fury will be a good 40 to 50 pounds heavier than Usyk, and unlike Joshua, he'll make it count. He'll push Usyk around, he'll rough him in the clinches. He's a natural heavyweight, unlike Usyk. The Ukrainian boxer also shared that he's in trouble with his diet to maintain his weight and size. Also, unlike most big heavyweights, Tyson can fight the complete 12 rounds. Most big men gas up and need a rest like Joshua or Ruiz. But Usyk may not be able to go full out for the extra weight for 12 rounds. That'll be an advantage for the British boxer. For Usyk, being smaller is both a weakness and a secret weapon. The WBC champion has overwhelmed many opponents with his tall body. However, on the other hand, the tall body will also hinder the movement of the British boxer. Usyk used to fight in the middleweight class. The lighter body can help him move around the ring better. It's very important in defending and dodging missed hits from Fury. Despite claiming he doesn't have a care about legacy, a victory over Usyk would put Tyson Fury firmly in the history books as not only the greatest of his generation, but perhaps one of the best ever. So do you think these two giants will make that explosive match happen? And who'll be the winner? Leave your comments below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that icon bell. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.